it's Jana from Ballerinas by Night. Today's video is kind of a follow-up to my leotard sizing for curvy dancers. I did that video where I shared some like common popular leotard, si leotard brands um, and shared with you what size they wear, how they fit me, and showed you what they look like on my curvy ballerina body. And so I mentioned that I also had lots of like warm-ups and skirts and I could do a video on that and you guys seem really excited about it. So today we're gonna talk skirts and warm-ups and some tutus actually um, for curvy bodies. Um, for reference again, I am a US size 12. I'm 5'6 or 5'7. I haven't measured myself in a while, but I'm somewhere between that range. So um, if that helps you for your sizing here. But yeah, I've got tons of stuff to share with you guys. So <laughs> let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna start with my most uh, basic, common, like favorite skirt to throw on, which I have another skirt that's like running really close uh, in competition with this one as my favorite, which you'll see in a minute. But this is the bullet point skirt. Um, these are really, really popular. You've seen these on like literally every young dancer. It's a very flattering style with like, it's higher on the sides and lower in the front and the back and the back run is like a tiny bit lower. Um, than the front. It's very flattering. It's very comfortable. This material is like really kind of like slinky and it doesn't like dig into my waistline or anything. It's just like a very, very comfortable skirt. Um, I was shocked that I could fit this over my hips and my booty um, because I don't make anything slight larger than a size large. So I wear a size large. It's probably, it's probably stretched out since I've been wearing it for like a couple of years, maybe like three, four years. I don't know. Anyway, um, obsessed with the skirt though. And then Abby got one because I was just like, could not shut up about it. <laughs> and so she loves hers too. So yeah, love this skirt so much. I do wish it was like just a tad bit longer just to compensate for my like larger hips to give me more coverage at the top of my thighs and the crotch area. But it's an awesome, awesome skirt and just highly recommend it. They come in tons of colors. Okay, but coming into competition with my bullet point skirt are the Eleve Tulip Skirts. I got this um, really pretty velvet spiced wine colored one um, around Christmas time. And I just, I just bought it because it was like in an XL because I have to wear XL in Eleve. And it was in the like ready to wear section. And I was like, this just looks really fun and like festive because we were filming some holiday stuff and I kind of wanted something fun. Anyway, I didn't expect to love this as much as I do. Oh my goodness. Well, first of all, can you see how pretty that color is? I've worn it in a few videos now, but I hope you guys can tell how pretty it is. But um, what I love about it is it is longer than the bullet point skirt. It fits the like hip to waist curve better than the bullet point. I think the bullet point is meant to sit lower. Whereas this one, I feel like it covers my hips and then it sits at my waistline really nicely. And it's just really comfortable, but I don't have to like tug on it to pull it to cover my butt. I mean, I kind of do sometimes with just this fabric choice, but I, this is, I think a fantastic option if you want a shorter skirt, but you're curvy and you still want some coverage. This is like the greatest thing ever. So yeah, I loved it so much that I also ordered it in black. So now I have both, cause I usually wear black tights to class like most of the time. Although I really am loving the pink tights lately. But this, I mean, it's just like classic and it's flattering. It looks just like a, like a, like a mini skirt, <laughs> but it's flexible and you can move around in it. So yeah, and I get these in an XL and they fit wonderfully and oh my goodness. So yeah, the Eleve Tulip Skirt, highly, highly recommend. I guess while we're on the Eleve talk, I will mention two other mesh skirts that I have from Eleve. This one. <laughs> This one is the asymmetrical gathered skirt. So it's fairly long on the one side and then it comes up and gets pretty short and gathers on the side, like on your hip. I got this for the performance that Kristen and I filmed before she moved um, over the summer. And so we both wore like these kind of mauve toned colors in our performance. And so I got this. This is a, an extra large. Yeah, extra large, it's ready, ready wear. I mean, it's really beautiful. Very high quality stuff with Eleve. Anyway, this is just like gorgeous though. And I love the asymmetrical flattering, flattering this. I don't 
don't even know what I'm trying to say. Um, but also from Elevay. This is this was the first thing I ever bought from Elevay years ago, like long time ago. Um, this was the mini skirt. Very short and it's just mesh and it's very simple. I like haven't worn this in years. I actually like forgot it was even in my drawer. So I might I might break this out and wear it with some black tights again. I it is too short for me personally to feel comfortable wearing this with pink tights. But again, if you're looking for like another really short skirt as a basic, this does I mean it fits me. Lengthwise it's not very long, but it is an XL. So there's that. Okay, I've got a couple like random random brand of things. I have a pair of the ripstop pants. These are body wrappers in purple. I think, I, I mean, I surely I bought them. Here it is. Yeah, extra large. This is the kind of thing that bugs me guys about this. Okay. Anyway, so I bought this in an extra large for obviously like my hips and my booty, but like the pant leg was actually like crazy, crazy long. And like, I know rolling them up is like a cool way to wear them or whatever, but it was just like, it was ridiculous how much I had to roll it up and then they wouldn't stay so they would just roll down. Oh my god, it drove me crazy. So eventually I just like chopped off the bottom leg and now I look a bit like a pirate. So that's okay. But what's so annoying about these, like I, they fit me, but even though they're an extra large, like they don't, there's, there's not enough room in like the hip and the butt area. So really it's like really tight on that and I don't feel like I can get much mobility with my legs. Like it's just <laughs> Ah, it's so frustrating. So, but I wanted to mention that because I mean, I love this type of pant. So, but just letting you know that the body wrappers version fits snugly around my hips and lower stomach and then it's like comfortable everywhere else. So like too big in the waist, too long in the legs. And if anybody knows a better brand for ripstop pants, let me know because I would love to get a pair that I can actually like wear and, and move around in. <laughs> okay, and then I have another mesh skirt. This is a gorgeous dancer made skirt uh, from More Skirts off of Etsy. I got this, I don't know, maybe three or four years ago and I had her do it with like the faux tie back so I can actually make this tighter as I need. And let's see, I think I got the, it's the regular length if you're shopping for her skirt. So the regular length is, I don't remember what the ex exact measurements are on the front and the back, but you know, for me it hits like like mid thigh I guess on the front and then it's like the back of my knee on the back. It's so comfortable like I can just throw this on. It feels really nice. It makes me feel really pretty. She makes these skirts in tons of colors and I want to get more colors. I just have such a hard time making a freaking decision <laughs> so <laughs> eventually I will get more colors. Alright so on Discount Dance they have a very small plus size section on their website. This particular wrap skirt is the Natalie plus size wrap skirt. Um, I've had this forever and ever and ever like probably 13, 14 years. Um, I, so I assume it is the same skirt. <laughs> it comes in one size but yeah this is the Natalie plus size wrap skirt. It is like on the shorter end but it still provides lots of coverage I think. It has kind of kind of like bells out at the very bottom so if that's something that you like or not. Now that there are like more options for me I don't tend to go I don't tend to wear this skirt very much but I used to love to wear it with like a like a knitted black top and I would tuck it into the skirt and it kind of looks like a little like romper sort of but anyway so I mean but this does this does fit me wonderfully if you are looking into that uh, plus size option off of Discount Dance. Here is another basic. I cannot recall if I got this off Discount Dance or if I bought this in a store somewhere, but it's um, it's just Capizio, so it's, you know, an easy to get brand. And this is actually in a medium slash, slash large um, E15. I don't know if this is gonna help you at all. This is a longer wrap skirt. It hits like above the knee for me just a really great basic to have like you never know when you're gonna need just like a decently length black skirt so I love having this in my wardrobe for whenever I need it I don't wear it that often but I did wear it with pink tights to class a few months back so I was pretty proud of myself about that but yeah just a great basic long skirt yeah I mean not the most exciting thing but sometimes you're not always looking for the most exciting thing <laughs> alright guys we have now gotten to the part of the video where I need to admit to you that I am a Ruby Aware junkie. I cannot quit buying 
Ruby Aware leg warmers. <laughs> I love their stuff so much. I just, anything like warm and cozy and comfortable, <laughs> just like can't stop. <laughs> Where to begin? Okay, so it has been an interesting journey figuring out what size I do like from Ruby Aware because I'm so accustomed to buying extra large or whatever the biggest size is in dancewear, but I can't do that with leg warmers because from what I understand, from what I've purchased, the bigger the size doesn't necessarily mean the bigger the like circumference of the opening is, it's like the longer the length of the, of the leg warmer gets. And I don't have like the longest legs. What I've discovered is I love a size medium or small in their leg warmers because of the length so this is like probably my favorite one my favorite fit um and length and this is the short shorty is that what it's called it's not the full leg it's the other one i think it's called a shorty this was their black label one from the art of motion summer intensive so i got these while i was there and i was just like this is the greatest thing so these are a size medium they can go above my knee but then they're not so long that they like dangle on the floor. They hit right above my feet. And so I can get all the coverage there that I need. Um, and it's not too tight up above my knee. Cause that was my fear is like, if I'm ordering like a medium or a small, does that mean like the opening gets really tiny, but I, that doesn't seem to be the case. So I hope that is really helpful information if you're ordering from Ruby Aware. Because then for example, I have these full leg ones and I bought these in a large cause I, the top of my thighs is like much bigger than like my ankle. Like the difference between the size of that and my ankle is, is really great. So with being the full leg, I was just worry, worried that the top of my thigh would just get like sucked in and it would be really painful. So I bought them in a large, should not have done that because they are so, 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 so long <laughs> for me. So I have to like pull them up to my top of my thigh and then like roll them down a couple times. And then it's just like, that doesn't stay very long. So they always like pull down and, um, Anyway, I know that now that I will order probably a medium and a full leg next time, but I love having a full leg leg warmer. It's so, so nice. <laughs> this is, I think boysenberry is the color of this one. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's a thin knit, so it's not like overly hot. When I used to be doing rehearsals after class, <laughs> can't wait till we can do that again. Um, this was fantastic just to keep me warm uh, post-class and during rehearsal, so love both of these but there is more these are some of my favorite leg warmers the mustard yellow oh, just so obsessed how fantastic is that color oh my god i love it so much uh these are also a medium and the shorty and this is like a, a striped it's a little bit of a thicker knit than the full leg leg warmer one but um i just I, they're wonderful they're just so wonderful i can't stop talking about them so and they just add like a pop of color you know and as someone that likes to wear like really basic colors to class although i'm really branching out guys i really am okay there's there's still more don't worry then i have this pair <laughs> shoot i can't tell you what color it is if i figure all this stuff out i'll put it in the description box if you guys even care to have that information this is another shorty and a medium now this fabric is like waffle waffly kind of fabric it's really thin and i, I kind of wish i have this had these in a small I don't, they're like looser and so I if they had like if they were just a tiny bit shorter a little bit if they gripped a little bit more um I would like that but it, it just doesn't matter these are fantastic and again they look really great with pink tights um or no tights super comfortable and love it so my latest Ruby Aware edition are the Robita the kids version leg warmer on their website it says they like to be used as like calf warmers and I love it if it's literally from top of my ankle to the bottom of my knee and so it's like just my calves and my calves are always so friggin tight love these so much they do make i think a mini as well which is like even shorter or no is it longer shoot i can't remember okay and my last piece of ruby aware and you know i'm gonna order more like this is not the end <laughs> um okay so i ordered their cora wrap i think it's the cora wrap oh i'm doing terrible i should have researched this stuff before i filmed but yeah this is just a beautiful pink um wrap i do wish that it was just a little bit more fabric again because i have just more body to wrap around but yeah i'm still trying to figure out my favorite way to wear it but right now i like to make it into like a triangle and then wear it as like a sarong there's like obviously a bajillion ways to utilize this i wear it a ton at home like if i'm doing class at home i almost always start with this like wrapped around my waist. I just feel like no matter what I'm wearing, um, if I put this over it, it just helps me get warm like that much quicker. 
and I just feel so pretty in it. It's just, it's gorgeous. Okay, we're getting down to the end. Um, I'm gonna talk about tutus now. If you are looking for a like classical pancake-ish tutu, I found one that fits. <laughs> you can get, this is the Natalie brand off of Discount Dance. This is a 2XL, so I can get it over my booty, over my hips, and it fits. It's incredible. Um, oof. Oh man, I just got lipstick on it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, anyway, it's uh, this is like a really thin, comfortable waistband thing. I definitely, like when I first put it on over my hips, I felt like I heard some of the stitches like cut because it just was snug. If you're, if you're a size like me and you wear dancewear, that's just stuff that you get used to. <laughs> but anyway, it's just pretty like standard and that's like all I, all I wanted, just a basic white classical tutu. And I found one and it fits me. So yeah, double XL with the Natalie tutu. I will link it in the description box below. If you are looking for a romantic longer tutu, Natalie also makes a long fluffy tutu. It's like sort of fluffy. I mean, it's like low end fluffy. Obviously it's not gonna be like a gorgeous, super soft <laughs> tulle skirt because it's only a couple layers and it's not like really, really fine tulle. But it gets the job done to make you feel like a little snowflake or whatever it is that you want to feel. So this hits like right below my knee, I think. And this is a large, extra large. Fits just fine, it's got a nice thick waistband. I love it, I've had it for years. And I also have it in pink because, I mean, who can resist that? I feel like the pink's also softer than the white, by the way. Again, same thing, large, extra large, and a pretty, pretty pink color. I don't know, guys, I just feel like this stuff's like affordable enough and um, we all, deserve to feel like tutu ballerinas, so shoot. Love having that stuff. <laughs> One last thing to mention is this like super cheap $10 <laughs> tutu thing I found on Amazon. For me, sometimes I don't wanna wear like a gigantic tutu, but I want like a tutu kind of feel. Um, and this is like long enough to cover my booty and everything. Uh, it's like, you know, it's like a one size, thing and it, I mean it's you know it stretches a lot the waistband actually comes with like as this like shiny satiny thing but I just don't like that so I just turned it inside out and then wear it like that so um ten dollars comes in a bunch of colors it's just kind of a fun thing if you're looking for a tutu of that kind of sort of SAB style tutu but not really so anyway that is my collection uh, most of my collection of skirts and warm-ups that I that are like my favorite things uh for my curvy body so um yeah if you guys have any other recommendations for skirts warm warm-ups tutus um any other kind of dancewear that fits curvy bodies well uh leave it in a comment below i hope you guys are having a good start to your new year and that you're enjoying some of the new stuff that we have on the channel right now we're so excited about it uh, make sure you're subscribed for more content and hit the notification bell thing uh so you get notified when we have new videos Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!